Well, it's winter here at California Carnivores, and in our carnivorous garden, many of our plants have gone to sleep for winter because they are temperate plants, and they have a chilly winter dormancy that they require. So during this winter dormancy, the leaves of the plants will die back to the base of the soil, and these plants require this dormancy in order to come back every year and to thrive and to get bigger and better every year. Dormancy is usually triggered by the naturally shorter photo periods of the sun and colder temperatures. And if you have a lot of questions about this dormancy period, check out my video all about winter dormancy. Now in December, sometimes we're looking around and we kind of wonder what we can do to our plants, what we can do to care for them and help them through this winter dormancy period. And so that's what this video is today. It's just how to care for your temperate plants in winter dormancy, how you can kind of clean them up, tidy them up, ready them for that period and also for the spring that is coming, which is just around the corner. So let's go ahead and check out our plants, what they look like in dormancy, what's normal and how to care for them. So let's start with Saracenia, the American pitcher plants. I have four different ones to show you, so we're gonna look at the different ways to trim these, and that's based a lot on the species. And that's because, as you can see, I have four different options here. These are some hybrids and some species, but they all look very different in dormancy, and that's because different species actually come up earlier in spring and actually go to sleep earlier in the year, and other ones come up later in spring and last longer throughout the winter. So you're gonna to wanna to trim them a little bit differently. And these are questions I get asked all the time. So I'm gonna show you. We're gonna start with the very most easy one possible. So all of these pitchers are actually just modified leaves. They're gonna grow in spring, they're gonna fill up with bugs. And then in the winter, which is so easy, you just trim them off about an inch above the rhizome. And as you do this, you don't have to worry too much. Just reach in, trim them off. There's no, not going to be any new growth you really have to worry about at this stage. Do you see some of that <laughs> juice leaking out though? It could be a little bit of a messy job. Because remember, these are full of the old bugs and that digestive fluid. And actually one fun thing you can do is if you really wanted to, you could take one of these pitchers and take a little razor or a knife and slit it down, open it up and do an autopsy and see what your plant was eating all year. We actually send a lot of these to schools and kids really enjoy doing that. So that's a fun thing you can do. So you're just gonna wanna clean up your plant, cut off all these brown pitchers. Actually, a fun story is that Peter, years and years ago, used to get little plastic babies. And when he would send these to school, he would actually put a little plastic baby in these pitchers, just one baby per every 10 pitcher. And then when the children would cut these open, one lucky kid would find one of those little plastic babies, which is so wonderful and weird. And I always love that story. So I have all of these, which are full of gross dead bugs. And I'm just gonna put these right in the compost. This is an easy one, right? Because none of these looked very alive and growing because the pitchers had really died back. But some species and hybrids die back differently. So you can see on this plant, a lot of these pitchers look really beautiful. You can go ahead and leave those up. So this is more careful. I'm just gonna carefully trim off these brown pitchers. If you want something like this, you can wait for it to die back all the way, or you can cut it right here, right where it was brown. And you may wonder, why am I doing this, right? Why not just leave the plant to do its own thing? Part of that is because it's good to clean up the plant, cut off all these dead pitchers because it allows air and light to get to the rhizome. And you really wanna do that, especially when you're coming closer to spring. So this is a fun winter chore that you can do when you're feeling a little bit like, I wanna be planty, but all my plants are asleep. You can trim them all up. Then as these pitchers throughout the rest of the winter die back, you can go ahead and clean them up more. Now we're gonna to come to two of the more different of the Saracenia. Let's put them center stage because they're so awesome. Cytosina and Purpurea. Both of these species tend to die back a little bit less. They still have brown pitchers, but oftentimes those are really tightly, in this case, you can see they're really tightly in there. It's harder to trim them. Sometimes if you give a gentle tug, they'll come right out. Otherwise, I actually would advise you get in here. Let's do one in the front so you can see. And just cut it back. And it's interesting, if you look, as you're cutting this back, this is why we cut them back. As you cut these back, you can see, look, there's some fresh new growth in there. 
And it's really good for the rhizome to get a little breathing space, some light, some air, make that space. So you can go ahead and cut all of these brown pictures out. Now, Cytosine is a little different. You can see it doesn't quite die back the same, but some of these are older and they wanna come right off. So my advice is just very gently trim off any of the brown parts. Some of them will wanna come right out in your hand. Others, if you don't like how it looks, you can just trim that right off. Don't go crazy with Cytosine. You don't need to pull off every single brown leaf. But you could just get in there and gently clean it up. It grows in this different kind of rosette. Don't obsess about it. Make it as clean as you'd like it to be. And don't worry, you can leave all of the pictures that look good on. You do not have to cut any of the, the beautiful pictures off. So that's the Saracenia. Now let's talk about the Drosera. I think the Drosera are the number one, one, number one plant that I get a question about, which is, is my plant dormant or is my plant dead? Now, they kind of die back into two patterns. Here is my most concerning one for people, which is a Bonata. And as you can see, there's really not much there there. And that's a little alarming to people. You can see the old leaves. So you know it was here just in the spring, but it's died back. So in this case, don't try to pull these off. You can kind of pull stuff out of the soil. Just gently trim them off. And then all you, all you can do is just wait for spring and have faith that your plant is just resting. Don't stress about it. It's gonna come back. They're actually really tough. So don't worry about your bonatas if this is what they look like. Now something like this, I chose a big one because you could so you could really see it. These plants die back to hibernacula. These sort of buttons, these hard little buttons that are here in the soil. Sometimes get worried, people get worried because these plant, these little hibernacula sometimes can be super dark brown, they can even have a red tinge. In the summer they'll build a little white fuzz over them, and people really worry that this is a sign of ill health. Totally normal, totally healthy. And a good way that you can test is you can kind of Feel. It's firm. It's happy. So don't mess with it too much. And again, just gently trim off all of these leaves. Don't pull them. It's really easy to accidentally pull a piece of your plant out. Just trim them all off. Leave your little button in the soil there. And that's a nice reassuring button to see. So just look for that and then you know it's okay. And that's how you trim up your drosera for winter. So the last thing we're going to look at are the fly crafts. So here's my big pot of fly traps. I've also got some pygmy sundews making jemmy in here. So I'm gonna be kind of careful. With fly traps, sometimes you can pretty easily just pull these out, but a word of caution, sometimes you think you can pull them out and you end up just pulling the entire rhizome out of the soil. So it's a good idea to trim things. And you can safely just trim all of these black traps out. Very gentle pull. Don't pull too hard, and if it doesn't come, then you can cut it. Um, also, don't stress out, you're gonna trigger the traps. They'll survive. This is not you just triggering them for fun. This is a good reason to trigger them. If you accidentally do, don't beat yourself up. But see, those ones came out easily. So there you go. That's how to trim up your plants in winter, your temperate plants. This is your little planty chore for December, and we'll check back in in January to see how they look. Some of them are going to be even more dormant, so we can trim them up further, but also we can take a look so you can see and feel reassured your plants are totally okay, they're just asleep. And if you have questions or comments, definitely comment below. And if you have a lot of questions about dormancy itself, go check out my video all about dormancy because it'll answer all those questions about is this area too cold, is it too hot, can I put them outside? It's all in our big, long, ultimate guide to dormancy. All right, happy growing!